good afternoon, good day, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. And welcome back to another segment of Just Spontaneous Healthy Meals with V Beautiful. Yeah, I'm back again, y'all. And before I start, I would like to welcome um, our new supporter. I've just gained another supporter. And I am extending open arms to you as well as to my uh, loyal supporters that are already here. I'm extending a virtual hug to you as well as all my supporters. As I said, thank you for finding me someone that you <laughs> can share a space with and learn from and me as well. Learn from you. So please don't be shy in your voice. And this is for all of my supporters who I still kind of shy. You can talk with me now. I need some need some talk. <laughs> some talk back. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Today, uh, what I have in front of me is I made, well, I'm still in the midst of making some homemade applesauce. Okay, so um, I could move my camera, but I don't want to do that because it didn't got away. So this is still hot. The apples are still the apples are still hot, and this is how it looks. Okay, and in the back is what you see. I use I use some Granny Smith apples, some cinnamon. I use some coconut milk, some coconut sugar, and some water. Very simple. Okay, now if you don't want to use any of the um, spices. You can leave out the cinnamon as well as if you don't want to use any sugar, you could take these two away. You just have your apples and your water. But if you do want to spice it up some, that's the kind of that's the way you do it. On the side, you see I have a lemon and a lime. And the reason why they're on the side is because I opted not to put them in the applesauce. You can use the lemon or lime juice as well as the zest from them. Um, you can use one or the other, or you can mix it up. So I'm just that's just there just for a prop to show you. You can also add that to your applesauce, depending on if you want to have a little more pop to it. <laughs> as for sugars, you can um, you can um, you know we say you can use any sugar you like, but in all honesty, that's not true. No, it, it, okay, it is true. You can use any sugar you like. However, all sugars don't have the same taste. They don't have the same texture, okay, and that you may be looking for in your recipe. And in the case of stevia, uh, that would be a big, uh, mm, should I do that? Because stevia has a very strong, strong taste. If most of you, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, and you decide to try it, you will find out you a very little goes a long, long way. So, and I will be for those who are um, aware of their sugar intake um, or becoming more aware of it, whether you're diabetic or not, I will be like placing the, the sugars that are said to have low glycemic impact on your blood, which means low glycemic means it doesn't raise your, your sugar up. It doesn't spike your blood so high, your sugar so high, to where it's going to have you jumping around. Like with most children, they eat a lot of candy and sugar, they be jumping around. So for so these are for us who are conscious of the sugar intake and if we're diabetics. So I will be placing those sugars in the description for those of you who are concerned or who are interested. And um, also in the back, I have some dried apples which you can also make your applesauce with. Now, I chose Granny Smith apples, and just like I mentioned with the sugars, all apples are not equal. Each apple has a different texture to it, a different flavor, a different sweetness, and a different tartness to it. So it all depends on what type of applesauce, if you like applesauce, that you desire would depend on the apple that you would choose. Uh, and I love the Granny Smiths. Um, so yeah, you can take the um, the apples, the dried apples, and you can reconstitute them. 
reconstitute for those who don't know what that word means. Um, and for those of us who may sometimes need a reminder, <laughs> is that um, you just take the apples and you can add some water to it and let them plump up. Which means, like, you know what, fill back up into um, their dry state to a more um, liquid state or they, they rehydrate themselves. Okay? Which means that they'll be more, they'll be soft and pliable and not chewy, not dry anymore. Also, um, with the apples, um, now you can also use in place of water for the apples if you like to make a apple sauce. You can also make use apple juice. Now, if you do use an apple juice, it also once again depends on what type of apple juice you're using. If they add sweetness to the apple juices or if they're unsweetened. And also depends on the sweetness of the apples that you are using themselves. It also depends on um, when you're dealing with the liquid in your uh, um, your apples. How liquidy you may want it to be or how, how full you may want it to be. How dense you may want it to be. Also keep in mind the apples that you use will also be a factor in how watery or how full you know or thick your apple sauce will be because as you know most of us know apples contain their own water their own water their own liquid so even though you add liquid to the apple sauce to the apples pardon me to the apples they're also going to um, release their own liquid their own juice so be mindful of that also so that you won't um, overdo or underdo depending on again on the apple that you use your apple sauce so I think I covered most of, the, um, most of the things I wanted to cover here. And so once the apples cool down, all thing you got to do is spoon it out the pot. I'm going to do it over here. Spoon some out the pot. They're not cool. I'm just giving an example. Okay. They're soft enough now. And it only takes you like 15 to 20 minutes before they're soft. And so either you can just smash it up like this. You know, with a fork or a potato masher. And if it's uh, depending on the consistency you want, you can even put it in a smoothie or and do a little, uh, not a smoothie. You can put it in the blender and do a few, few, a few pulses on in your blender to get the texture you want. As you see, it's so, you may not even need that because it's just so good with using a fork. And so, one more little thing that I did, y'all. Now, y'all know apples are full of a lot of goodness. Okay, a lot of vitamins and things like that. So, this is how it's going to look. My applesauce is going to look. Okay, it, or it's looking. It's looking right now. So, and with that, I decided, you know what? I'm going to use these peels to make some apple tea. I've never done that before. And um, it just came to me. I'm like, you know what? I normally eat the peels because, you know, apples are full of fiber. And um, so I just normally eat them the way it is. But I decided, I want, let me make some apple tea. I've never seen it on the market. But I bet you it's out there because everything that we humans or human beings think about is out there somewhere in the market. I'm sure it's out there somewhere in the web. So... I just decided just to boil the skinions. I didn't add any any sweetness to it, nothing to it. So what I'm gonna do is in front of y'all, lovely folks, I'm gonna strain it. I have them also next to the apples that I was making applesauce with, and I'm gonna strain it. This is what this is all I did. I just put them in the pot. Okay, like this. Just put them in the pot. The peels, that is, or the skins, and I'm going to strain it into this glass here. All right, let me get this right.
So, we see how the liquid is looking. Like the apple skin. Not as green, but still, it looks good and clear. And it's hot. So, yeah. And the reason I just use this glass here because it's, to me, it has a more, there is no uh, raised glass on it. Like the mug here. So I'm going I'm to transfer it into this mug. One of my favorite mugs. I'm going to transfer it into here. I just want y'all to see just for, again, you know, purposes of this digital visual. So, um, I just want y'all to see how, uh, and this, I'm making applesauce um, because I will be using the applesauce in a cake. Because apples, um, in place of other moisteners that I don't, I don't use, I don't use milk in my cakes. When I do decide to make a cake, I don't use milk. And, um, so I use substitute things to, um, make up for or even enhance things better than milk can. So it is a very great moisturizer for cakes. And this is what I will be doing with my cake. Adding applesauce. And of course I have enough left over for it to eat if I want to as a snack. And um and that's what I want to share with y'all today. So and it's so easy that you can get your children if you have children to help you. You can get your spouse to help you. If he likes or she likes applesauce, you can just do it for yourself. You know what? It's a great way to just, you know what? Do something yourself. And know that it's not as challenging as you may think it is. So, I really thank y'all for joining me with another, on another segment of Just Spontaneous Meals. And, again, I thank you for all of my supporters. Y'all don't know how y'all continuously put a smile on my heart. Uh, well, on my face and in my heart. You can my heart smiling too. So, you're putting a smile on my face and in my heart. And, you know, I like to think that I'm doing the same for you. So, with that said, you enjoy this video, this little tidbit, please, um, hey, feel free to like it if you don't like it. And if you don't like it, you can dislike it. <laughs> but share it out with your friends and family or, um, yeah, your friends and family. Um, and maybe they may like it if you don't. Or maybe y'all may like it together. So, with that said, I appreciate y'all for joining me and sharing this space and until the next time enjoy your day your afternoon or your evening depending on where you are in the world and please stay tuned